have that little chat with yourself and say, do I want to look at this nail pile that makes me a crazy person every day? Or do I want to just handle this quickly? Hi, I'm Paige Killian, and I'm passionate about helping busy moms of littles get organized in three simple steps. So here's today's organization motivation. I am so excited that we're already this far into the podcast. I am seriously having the most fun recording these episodes for you, but I'm also really loving sharing the thing that lights me up so much, which is getting organized. This calls for a, an extra celebration. I'm going to put my face on today, as Meemaw would say. Uh, Meemaw wouldn't even go out to the mailbox without putting her face on because if she happened to run into the mailman, she wanted to make sure she looked her best. So I put my face on today. That means I brushed my hair. I put a little makeup on and I actually put on a shirt that says good times because I'm going to be tackling something that I think... <laughs> Maybe we don't really associate with positivity and good times. The title of this is The Never-Ending Meal Pile because even if you're an organized person, guess what? It's never going to end. You're going to be getting mail. And the more people there are in your family, the more mail you're inevitably going to be receiving on the daily. But here is how I've put some structure in place and have been intentional about organizing my mail situation. As always, let's go back to the three E's. Number one, essential. Number two, enhancement. Number three, extras. What are these going to look like for you and for your family? As always, I'm going to tell you your three E's in organizing your mail might look totally different than my three E's, but I'm just going to share with you what mine are and know that you're welcome to steal those ideas or come up with your own. The first thing when we talk about mail organization is going to be what I always say with the essential, start with the purge. So organizing your mail is actually going to take place before your mail even gets into your home, before you're even bringing that mail in. A couple things need to happen. Number one, you open that mail up near a garbage can if that's possible. So I'm just going to tell you what our mail situation looks like right now. The way we have our mail is in, in order to bring our mail in our home, we have to walk by our trash cans and we have our recycle bins out there. So when you are a person who really wants to shred any personal documents, I completely understand that. But what I want you to know is you have most likely two hands that can work as your shredder before things even make it into your home. Go ahead and use those hands. If your kids are next to you, hand them some stuff and say, shred, shred, shred. Like I'll just hand stuff off to my kids. And before we even bring the mail inside, or like we also have a PO box. So before we even take our mail and go to the car with our mail to take it home, we will go stand by the recycle bin. We will rip those things to shreds and then we will pop them in the recycle bin. The more simplified you can make this process for yourself, the likelier you are to have a less terrifying, <laughs> never ending mail pile in your house. Okay, so that is the very first thing in your purge. You're gonna get rid of anything, anything, anything that you don't need. Get rid of it. Do that purge. Shred those things and throw them in the recycle or cancel subscriptions so you never even have those things coming into your home. Here's the enhancement. So first we've got the purge. The enhancement is going to be handle the mail as fast as you can. If there is something that is pressing, obviously open it up, take care of it. If you can set all of that up online, so again, that paper trail is not coming back to your house and your never ending mail pile is just a mountain at this point. If you can have all those bills set up electronically, absolutely do that. Have that little chat with yourself and say, do I want to look at this mail pile that makes me a crazy person every day? Or do I want to just handle this quickly? This is where we get into the extras. This is your third step in organizing your mail. And this is where you're going to have the proper organization put in place so that you 
are able to tuck that away when you need to, or have certain things kind of, I, I call it like in limbo. You might have an area that's like in limbo. So I really love a good acrylic um, container store has some great ones of these and they look like paper trays, but they're acrylic containers. So that way you can just kind of label to the side whose mail it is. And that person knows, Oh, here, we need to go over here and, and handle this and pull that out and whatever. And again, do it ASAP. If you're in a position now where you're like, Paige, there's no way I could keep a tiny little file area over to the side on my counter because my mail pile is out of flipping control. If you can shoot for getting 1% better every day, in this case, it might mean picking up one piece of mail in your big, fat, never-ending mail pile stack. If that's the case, pick up one letter. Look at one letter. Open one thing. Decide if it can be shredded, recycled, or you need to deal with it now. If it is something that belongs in limbo and you need to take care of it, but at that moment, for whatever reason, justifiable or not, it can be put to the side. Find a, an, a, a really good organization system that works for your space and works for you, whatever your style is, not only how it looks, but like, what's your style? Are you really going to get back to this? You're going to put it off, put it off. If you're a putter offer, if you're a procrastinator on that kind of stuff, first, give yourself some grace because life shouldn't be that serious. But second of all, find a, an organization system that's going to work best for you. Do you need it to be in plain sight in a clear acrylic container? Oftentimes it's a matter of just making the decision. Okay. TV show is on a commercial. I'm going to hop up and I'm going to go open one letter. What you might find is you might just grab that stack and go sit down on the couch with it and be opening and sorting through and have the trash can next to you or the shredder next to you and just be watching your favorite. Mine's always like Grey's Anatomy. I love it. But whatever your favorite show is that you're binge watching, grab that never ending mail pile, grab a trash can or a shredder and get ready to just start sorting through. And if you can just lean in and begin on that very first letter, you might find, oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, took care of that. Now I can go on to the next. Now I can go on to the next. And look, now you're even more than 1% more organized that day. So give yourself some grace and definitely simplify where you can. So I hope you guys remember these tips. Just make sure that you are doing that purge making sure that you are canceling subscriptions, making sure that you are shredding things and tossing them in the recycle before they even come into your home, all right? Also, your enhancement, making sure that you are handling that stuff quickly. Don't let it sit. That's when procrastination can sit in. Can set, can sit in. <laughs> That's when procrastination can set in. And then finally, that extra of making sure you are putting in the proper organization things into your space so that you can file away important documents so that you need them so that you can have those RSVP things re ready and waiting whenever it is time to join the rest of the world again and go back to events again and do fun things. Um, make sure that those things are put in a specific area so you don't have to go hunt them down or they don't get lost. And I will say, it might feel like if that never ending mail pile has been making you crazy for months and months that what you want to do is just slide it all off the counter into the trash can. I can see how that would be tempting, but don't do it. You definitely want to make sure you're not losing anything important in there. And, you know, mail comes to you a lot of times because there are important reminders in there. Some of it trash, some of it junk, but some of it's important. So don't toss it all in your struggle. Just know that you can kind of reframe how you feel about it. Stick to these three E's. And I hope that that helps when organizing your never ending mail pile. Hey, thanks for watching this video. For more resources to organize and style your busy life in three simple steps, head over to everythingwithstyle.com and connect with me on Instagram at everythingwithstylemom. Don't forget to check out the Mom's Organization Motivation Podcast over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any of your favorite platforms. And if you loved this video, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and happy organizing.